Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you how to achieve this cut crease makeup look. I love how this look turned out and I really hope you guys enjoy as well. So if you guys want to see how I achieved this cut crease look, just keep on watching and make sure to subscribe and like this video for new videos every week. So enough talking, let's jump right into the tutorial. I applied my foundation, it's the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, and now I'm going to be moving on to concealer. Sorry, the foundation portion of this cut off. This is a new camera, so I'm still trying to get used to it, guys. I do apologize, but I'm just going to place this underneath my eyes and in my T-zone to conceal and highlight. And this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I love this stuff. With a damp beauty blender, I'm just going to blend everything in so it's nice and seamless. Now I started doing this little trick and it really has helped with these crevices underneath my eyes. I just place the concealers in the hollows underneath my eyes and I let it sit. And then I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit and I'm just going to add some warmth to the outer portion of my face the hollows of my cheeks as well as my jawline and I really like this structured look and if your Anastasia Beverly Hills palette ever dries out just put a drop of oil in there and it will blend out flawlessly. Now that that shape tape has set for a minute I'm just going to blend that out and set everything in place and as you can see it gives great coverage for my under eye bags and I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder per usual. And I'm just going to bake that, let it sit, and I'm going to go in with my Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder, and I'm just going to bronze my face and set that contour in place that we put on earlier. Now I'm going to go in with Shasha Buttercup. This is a yellow powder, and I'm just going to carve out that contour a little bit further. I love this yellow powder. It's really good for setting my whole face and I love how it contours my cheeks. I'm gonna let that sit and then I'm going to buff everything out so it's nice and seamless again, as well as buff out the bake underneath my eyes. Now for eyebrows, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow per usual and I'm going to go in with Max Brown Script Eyeshadow and I'm just going to buff that into my crease. Now you really want to make sure you buff everything out, but it doesn't have to be too precise because we're going to go back in and sharpen everything up at the end. Now I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Fudge Eyeshadow, and I'm just going to place that right on top to further define and deepen the crease. I love this shadow. It is just the most perfect brown shade. It literally does look like fudge. Now I'm going to take a MAC buffing brush. All of the brush numbers will be listed down in the description box for you guys. I'm going to buff everything out further. This is a fluffier blending brush and it's going to make sure both lines look nice and seamless. Now I am going in with the blackest of the black eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. This shadow is called Corrupt and it is the blackest eyeshadow I have ever seen. Or worked with ever I love it and I'm just going to be taking that on a precision brush and placing that strictly in the crease following the curve of my eye I'm going to go back in with that Mac brush and buff everything out now I am going in with Mac soft ochre paint pot and I'm just going to carve out my lid and make sure that the colors that we buffed into our crease are nice and cut. So we are going to cut that crease, girl, okay? You're going to want to follow the natural curve of your eye and towards the outer corner, you're going to want to flick it out in the same shape as a wing. So just following the natural curve of your eye. Now that we have carved the crease, we are going to set everything in place with Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Peach Eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to be taking Brulee by MAC and I'm going to be placing that right on top of Soft Peach to lighten the lid. 
Once that is finished, I'm going to go back in with Corrupt again and just further outline that cut that we made. So I'm just going to be placing that right on top to further define that line. And then I'm just going to be making sure to buff out above where we carved out that crease. Now I'm going in with my Wet n Wild liquid liner and I'm just going to be doing a simple wing. I'm going to be connecting the tail of the wing to the crease colors as you can see. Off camera, I also applied Fudge from Anastasia Beverly Hills to my lower lash line and just buffed it out. That clip got lost somewhere in the mix. I apologize. And now I'm going to go in with the House of Lashes. Lashes? <laughs> I forget the name of these lashes, but I will list them down in the description box for you guys along with everything else. And I'm going in with a coat of mascara on my top and bottom. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Now I am going in with Vanilla Extract from MAC and I'm just going to be placing that in my tear duct. Now on to blush. I'm going to be using the Makeup Geek blush in the shade Chivalry with my Real Techniques blush brush. If you guys have not tried this brush yet, it is amazing. I don't know how I was living my life without this blush brush. Now to highlight, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Becca Cosmetics face palette and using Prosecco Pop mixed with Champagne Pop to highlight my cheeks. I love this highlight. And I'm just going to be placing that on all the high points of my face, highlighting my nose, my cupid's bow, and yeah. I'm also going to be placing Prosecco Pop in the tear duct of my eye as well. Now onto lips, I'm going to be lining my lips with MAC Oak Lip Liner. And I'm going to be going in with one of my all time favorite lipsticks in Sushi Kiss. This is by MAC and I'm going to be placing that right on top. Now for gloss, I'm going to be going in with my NYX gloss in Kinda Sexy and I'm going to be placing that right on top. I love this lip combo, guys. Now I'm going to be setting my face with the MAC Fix Plus setting spray and here is the final look thank you guys so much for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos every week and keep up with me between videos by following me on Instagram at Ashley Bond Beauty and Twitter and Snapchat is Ashley Bond 21 I love to interact with you guys between videos again thank you so much for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys